Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all, we're talking about relationships today. What happens when the people closest to you disapprove of the person you wanna be with or even marry? Like, can you imagine? What would you do? Let me know in the comments. Because sometimes you have to choose and sometimes you can make it work. And you're probably like, why are you asking us? <laughs> That's because Own Tit series, Family or Fiance, is back for a second season and it kicks off this Saturday, July 17th at 10 o'clock. Again, that's on Own. Joining me today, I have relationship coach Tracy McMillan, and we're gonna be talking about what we can expect this season. And of course, we're gonna dig deep into relationships. So stay tuned because you definitely don't wanna miss today's show. Hi, Tracy, how are you? Great. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to Check the Rhymes. So family or fiance is back. I'm super excited. What can we expect this season? Any unique situations that are kind of going to throw us off? Oh, there's so much happening this season. I mean, we have everything from polyamory to a 30-year age difference to serious issues like domestic violence. Um, we also have moments of big healing in generational trauma. I feel like this is a season about black men healing in the family system and in the couple. It's a really powerful season. I have heard a lot, it seems like, especially, I don't know if it's especially during this pandemic, but it seems like a lot of talk has been around generational trauma and having like and then trying to also let black men know it's okay to heal it's okay to to talk to somebody about what's going on um what do you hope that black men watching will get from the show that it's okay to have a feeling and it's okay to express a feeling that we carry things from you know our generations um we are carrying things from slavery you know the relationship with the mother, it needs a healing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so many mm -hmm. men come on our show. You know, one of the classic family or fiancé situations is that the man, it, fiancé, is putting the mother ahead of the partner. And the mother wants to keep it that way. <laughs> and oh, yeah. in order for a couple to work, the couple has to come first. So uh, there's a lot of healing around that, you know. So much goes on in the show, but I think that anybody watching it is going to identify somewhere, either with a family member or with one of the people, the couple or the parent. It's like, it's just so relatable. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any advice for, from, for the people that are going to be watching? You know, if they do have those limiting beliefs that they grew up with or, you know, seeing like, for example, if they didn't get... If you know, they didn't get hugs and told they love you in the home growing up and then they go out into the world and, you know, they've got this belief that that they don't need that or th there's some kind of a th attachment to a, a belief. Like, how do you what is your advice to kind of get rid of that and maybe shift their idea of what love or a relationship should look like? Well, I think the number one thing is just to observe it. When you take mm -hmm. a step back and you start to observe your own reactions to things, as opposed to just being in the reaction, it's the difference between being on a carnival ride and watching yourself on a carnival ride. And when you can do that, suddenly this whole world of, opens up of choices. You can decide, is that how I want to continue to act? I think you watch the show. You're going to identify with people's behavior. You know, you're going to mm -hmm. identify with people, and you want to look for the similarities, not the differences. And as you identify with what's happening on screen, you're like, hmm, what are my choices? Choices, are, it's always going to come down to choices because there's no victims. You want to be an active participant creating the relationship that you want to live in. That's that's true. That's very, very true. And what about like I've heard a couple of stories, even just on social media of, of women talking about and I'm sure it happens to men, too. But the ones I've seen have been women talking about how they're engaged to this wonderful man. And then all of a sudden he ghosts them out of nowhere. and They never hear from him again. What what advice do you have for them? And like, why 
What is that about ghosting? <laughs> ghosting is about not being able to show up for a feeling that's going to happen, right? Mm-hmm. If you okay. perceive that you're going to feel something when you say, I don't want to marry you, and you mm-hmm. don't have the inner resources to, to deal with that feeling, then you ghost. Ghosting is always about the person who ghosts. It's never about the person who was ghosted, except you want to look at how did I choose someone with so small of a capacity and how do I increase my own capacity for intimacy so I will choose somebody who also has a greater capacity for intimacy. So ghosting is, you know, it's out there, um, but it isn't about you. It's about the other person and what they perceive their, their ability to walk through discomfort is. Wow, that's, I never thought about it that way. That's, that's good, that's good. Um, <laughs> what, so what can you do if you're in a situation where your family doesn't approve of, of your mate? Like if you are even thinking about getting engaged and right now you're just still in that dating phase and you bring your, your mate home and your, par- your family's kind of like, uh, mm-mm, we, don't, we don't like that, that person. We don't think that this is a good you know, a good match or, you know, whatever their issue is, what, what advice do you have for people in that situation? I mean, I know they can watch the show as well, but like any, like one, number one tip for them? Well, I would say the thing to understand is, is this a legitimate thing going on in our relationship that they're responding to, or is this kind of their Mm -hmm. problem? You know, there are times when, for example, Mom doesn't want to drop into the number two position. So she has a problem Mm -hmm. with the fact that he's putting the fiance in number one. Well, that's mom's problem. Then there are things where the family sees that you have all kinds of conflicts, that you have very little skill at resolving. That's a real issue. (laughs) And if that's why they're against your your relationship, then you need to take a look at it. So it's, it's really about going deep and examining what's going on in your relationship and getting really honest with yourself. Wow. You have, you have opened my eyes today about like relationships and, and some things that I didn't never even really thought about. And I want to thank you so much um, for the advice. And I cannot wait to tune in to family or fiance on Saturday, July 17th at 10 o'clock on own. This season sounds like it's going to be an exciting one. It is. 